Hi guys, so as everyone knows, while you're traveling, uh, traveling around the country or traveling abroad, weight is everything. You can't have too much weight in the car, you can't have too much weight in your caravan. So when working out, you've got to find equipment that's going to be lightweight and it's going to be effective. Uh, what I've found uh, pretty much is body weight activity and bands. So I've probably been testing bands out for probably the last 10 years and a company that I found, I have nothing to do with the company, but it's a company called P2P. Uh, the gear is good, it's strong, it's durable, and it's pretty effective. And it comes up with um, some different types of weights so that you can add on to the weight, you can take off. And it probably brings up enough resistance, I think, uh, especially for myself. I like to go to the gym as well, but when I'm on the road, this is what I find does everything. Another company that I found as well, this company, I think, I think it's out of Sydney, uh, it's a Beach Bells uh, company. It's kind of cool because it's got a nice little kettlebell on the top so you can use for your squats and uh, different types of uh, exercises, lunges, etc. But it has your little 4, 8, 12, 16 kilos on there. So fill that full of sand and you kind of get a rough estimate of how much weight you're actually doing. The whole pack itself uh, is under 5 kilos. I've just found a, an old ARB gear bag because uh, I've got a new one. Everything fits in there, it's compact, uh, it doesn't take up too much room, and this is pretty much all you need. I actually bought two packs of resistance gears, and the reason being is because I wanted a few more handles, so if I was working out with somebody else, or if we had three people working out on a station of six different activities, we had enough handles and enough gear to kind of go around. So I've got some spare resistance bands here, the normal resistance bands that I use, and then I set up uh, the car and or the caravan to what I need in my circuit, set it up and then away we go. So this here is pretty much, as I'll show you, uh, and along with Scotty, all you need when working out on the road. First exercise we're gonna look at today in body weight exercise is the, the squat. Okay, if you haven't got a flexibility, good core um, and leg strength, there's probably a, a, a better way you can do it to start off with and that's holding onto a firm platform. Okay, so Adrian here's gonna grab hold of the bull bar and he's going to go into a squat. So what we do is we generate the squat, feet wide astride, okay, toes pointing forward, okay, you're going to crack at the knee, and then you're going to push your butt to the rear, holding on to the bull bar or the side rail. Okay, head and eyes to the front in a neutral position, pushing the chest forward, and then coming back up to the up position. Okay, simple squat. Okay, that's if you have dramas with those things that we just discussed. So next progression from that is obviously releasing your hand from that platform and going into the squat, okay, without any assistance. So once again, Squatting down, crack at the knees, butt to the rear, head and eyes to the front in the neutral position. Okay, hands forward, tighten the core, coming back up to the up position. Beautiful. Okay, the progression on from just a normal squat is then we start to add resistance. So in this instance, we've got a beach bells. Okay, it's got no weight in it for the purpose of the demonstration at the moment. But all we simply do is set ourselves up into the squat again, feet wide astride. Okay, grasping hold of the ring of the bell. Okay, in front of the body, and you're simply squatting down, letting that come through the legs, coming back up into the up position, chest forward, head nice to the front. All right, guys, the next one we're going to talk about is the uh, is the push-up. It's one of my favorite ones, and I believe from a stabilization and from a nice amount of strength through the upper body, this is probably one of the best exercises you can do. Again, with the push-up, but not everybody can do a proper push-up. So you have to have a little bit, you have to have a, a stage one, stage two, and a stage three. The easiest way to do a push-up is an incline push-up. And you can use something, especially on the road, as your bull bar. So if you place both hands slightly apart, uh, shoulder width apart, feet in a comfortable position, you can press down all the way down into the bull bar, making sure that the chest is very, very close to the actual bull bar itself, either touching or just off of it, and then back into the upright position. As you get better doing this, actually, this push-up, you can move your legs slightly back. All right, this will increase the weight of the front of the body as you go back and forth. All right, next exercise we'll move on to in this next progression is a push-up on the ground. So we'll push up on the ground, you have your knees on the ground, your feet will be just past shoulder width apart, your head will be in a neutral position, and the weight will be over the body. Now this is a little easier than the normal push-up, obviously because you're not putting a full amount of weight over the front of the chest. Okay, same sort of thing, you're taking the body all the way down, all the way back up. Right, you're locking arms at the top, the arms are coming at 90 degrees, and you're going through the motion. The further you take your knees back on this type of push-up, the more weight that will come over the front of the chest. Stage three, once you've built a nice amount of repetition, once you get close to your 10 reps in doing that position, is the normal push-up. The normal push-up is, is, is arms in the same position, your core is flexed, your butt cheeks and the back 
is straight all the way from here, all the way through to the ankles, and you go down into the push-up position and straight back up. Now, you're putting a, approximately around about 60, 70% of your body weight over the front of your chest by doing the proper push-up. One of the best exercises that you can do on the road. Hard exercise, but as you build up the strength, you'll find it extremely rewarding. But well, our next exercise we're going to talk about is the rear lunge. Okay, the reason we've chose the rear lunge is for people that have um, difficulties with their knees, like sore knees, worn out knees. Okay, place less strain on the knee, okay, going to the rear. So we're going to demonstrate the rear lunge once again, holding the side rail of the ball drive as the first point of stability. So all I want you to do here, Adrian, is take your inside leg and you're going to lunge to the rear. So the quad comes parallel to the ground, you're going to drop the knee to the ground. Okay, you can see there it's 90 degrees front and almost 90 degrees to the rear. Simply so going to come back up, head nice to the front. Once again, exactly the same as a squat, neutral position, neutral spine, but going down to quad parallel to the ground. That's good. And all you're simply going to do is alternate legs. Okay, once we've done that one, we're going to move into the free rear lunge or the free standing rear lunge. Okay, your hands can be on their hips, out to the front. It's whatever feels comfortable for you. So, Adrian's just going to bring his hands to the front as he goes down. Okay, and he's going to bring back up to the side. Exactly the same again. Okay, as he lunges down, keeping stability, head nice to the front, quad parallel to the ground. Okay, and the rear knee drops to the ground as such. Try not to, or try to avoid striking the knee to the ground. So it just hovers off the ground. Good, mate. Right, our next exercise I'm going to talk about is step ups. Awesome exercise for your legs and also cardio. So when you start off by looking at what sort of step you, or the height of the step, you want to go nice and low to start off with. This one's probably at about 400 mil. So it's probably a tad high for a beginner. You want to drop it down to about 250 to 300. So what we're simply going to do, stand in front of the, the, the object that you're going to step up onto, and you're simply going to step up with the left or right leg, okay, and push yourself up. Now the biggest thing here is to make sure the whole foot goes onto the step. Okay, if you're starting to go onto the edge, you're going to create issues for the Achilles. Okay, you may end up injuring yourself or instability and fall off. And all you're simply going to do is step down with the opposite leg. Okay, as you step down, alternate the legs. So you're just going to step up, hunts. Your hands can be on hips, out to the front, whatever it may be. Okay, you want to keep a nice easement pace because once, once again, I said it is actually a exercise that can create um, or elevate your heart rate. So it's an awesome exercise to um, put into your regime. Head nice to the front. That's it. Okay, you can look down occasionally to make sure you actually put all the foot's going completely onto the step. Well done, mate. Right, right, guys, what we're going to talk about now is the progression from a normal squat or a free squat to now using the bands. Okay, as you can see here, we've got the band around the bull bar. The good, good thing about these bands, they're rubber. Okay, they don't damage your bull bar or create scuff marks on your bar if that's what you're worried about. Um, ideal platform, particularly at the front of the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, we've got it around the hoop here, the top hoop. So what we're going to do now is talk about the squat with the band. Good thing about this, we put in a bit of resistance. So I've asked Adrian to step back a bit. You can see that it's got a bit of resistance in the band. As you can see, he stepped back. What it's creating is tension through the body and good core stability. So once again, feet wide astride, we're going to crack at the knees, push the bum to the rear, head nice neutral, head nice to the front, good core stability, and then coming back up. Nice and easy, yep, they're good squats. Yep, make sure the knee doesn't come forward of the toes. Beautiful. Coming down, quad parallel to the ground once again, exactly the same as a free squat. Nice. Yep, good Adrian. Right over the next exercise, we're going to move away from the vehicle. We're back into a free squat, but the difference here now, we've incorporated the band. So I've asked Adrian to stand feet wide to stride, place the band underneath the heel or the instep. Okay, and you're simply going to drag it up like so and bring it over the rear of the shoulder, rear of the tricep. Okay, it's exactly the same principle. We're going to crack at the knees, squat down, push back up, head nice neutral, okay, butt to the rear, quad parallel to the ground. That's good. All you're going to do is simply hold it in an isometric contraction. Okay, the band stays just to the side of the face or the ears. Okay, hands, you can actually grip, grip the grips or you can actually have your hands open. Good, mate. Couple of reps. All right, guys, we're just going to use this uh, attachment, okay, that um, you can put through your bar. So it's got a little loop, obviously a ring on it, oil it. I'm just going to bring that through. The cats pour it straight on there like that. The reason we're going to do this, we're going to use the band now, we're going to demonstrate a rear lunge with the band. So we set up the apparatus, ready to go. I've asked Adrian to put this around his calf, 
Probably need a bit lower, just a little bit lower, mate. So you want this around the center of your calf, ready for, because what it essentially does is sets the lower leg, so tib fib, tibular fibula. We don't really need to talk about that, do we? I'll just say lower leg. Lower leg. <laughs> okay. So what it does is set, set your lower leg in, in the position so it stabilizes through the knee. Okay, so we've got good integrity. Right, so we've hooked it up. I'm gonna ask Adrian to step out till he gets some tension. Yeah, mate, yep. a bit more. Step out a bit more, that's it. Right, so what's it essentially trying to do is pull the lower leg forward in the knee joint and you're gonna be stepping back. So it's gonna stabilize the knee. So great exercise for rehabilitation. So you're gonna step back with the leg that's not. Yep, that's it, good. And as you can see there, when Adrian went down, his leg wanted to go left and right because now we've increased uh, or we've incorporated something different now through the knee joint. So now he has to work on that stability through his knee as he steps down. So to make it a little bit easier, just come forward mate so you take the resistance off a little bit, that's it. So you wouldn't start with that high resistance, you start with a little bit of resistance. Okay, set the knee in its position and you're simply going down into the reverse lunge, exactly the same as what it was before we put the band on. Exactly the same principle. Head nice to the front, push the arms forward, Quad comes parallel to the ground, 90 degrees, same with the rear leg. Good, mate. Can you see the difference there? Perfect, mate. Wonderful. Right. Now what we seem to do is swap over. So if you want to increase the uh, tension, step back a bit. And you can see it's trying to pull your leg forward. All right, the next exercise is a lunge with the resistance band. Obviously, we spoke about the lunge. This is a, probably a more advanced exercise. Okay, the more resistance that you get by stepping away, okay, the more you have to engage your core. Okay, so it's exactly the same as the free lunge or the rear lunge. Uh, all Adrian's going to do is set himself up in the position, good core, head nice to the front. How okay, you're going to step back with the left or right leg, coming down and then proceeding back up. Okay, you'll find that this exercise, once you go down, because you've got resistance through the band, helps you back up. So although it's an advanced exercise, it can actually benefit for you in the long run. That's good, mate. Excellent. So he keeps good form. Okay. Quad parallel to the ground. Excellent. Head and eyes neutral. Chest forward. Good work, mate. 